Welcome to Psychology of Daf. We are in Gemara Tainus, Daf Yud Gimel. And today we're going to talk about the famous saying that seems to be popular in girls' seminaries, look attractive, not attracting. Now, the Gemara Numbered Bays discusses various leniencies we grant to a young woman of marriageable age who also happens to be a novella. At first, the Gemara considers that she's allowed to bathe, but ultimately concludes she may use makeup and style her hair, despite the fact that, her, that she is in a period of required mourning. It's important to note that the sages had a healthy respect for the natural patterns of behavior in life. I recently heard a shear from a Rav lambasting the girl's seminary credo of look attractive, not attracting. He claimed, while this was a clever saying, it was philosophically and morally nonsense. Nothing more than verbal sophistry. He said, simply put, a woman should not dress in such a way that attracts attention to herself. He said, you can call it anything you want, but women are obligated to be modest. Now, I found his willingness and zeal to confront dogmatic statements refreshing. However, I think in this case he was wrong. While the rabbis were certainly in favor of modesty, they also clearly recognized the value of a woman looking attractive. In this particular case, they are giving extra emphasis to a young woman who is of marriageable age to the extent that they are waiving certain normal requirements of mourning. But that is so far as mourning is concerned. They aren't waiving requirements of modesty in general. Obviously, they felt it was appropriate to appear attractive when one needs to find a mate. However, this is not limited to the sphere of women of marriageable age. There are other situations in the Gemara where great care is taken so that a woman uh, appear uh, that a woman not appear unattractive to her husband. See, for example, the Gemara in Shabbos on Samach Dalad on my base, where allowances were made for a woman who is in need to still adorn herself. And even more, in Moed Katan on Daf Tesmud Beis, where it's recognized that even an elderly woman who, and I quote the Gemara, standing at the edge of the grave, cares to adorn herself and wear makeup. The rabbis had respect for the basic human needs and rhythms of life. Many women enjoy looking attractive, and this is a normal part of life's pleasures and should not be squelched. So, while you shouldn't believe everything they teach you in seminary, it looks like they got this one more or less right.